Hi, this is Lori with Time to Be Creative. Today I'm just going to walk you through quickly uh, decorating a few binder clips. I just started to make a few of these clips and uh, have been having some fun. This is one that I did. Very simple. Another one. These are my first three. I didn't know what a binder clip, I knew what a binder clip was, but I didn't know how folks used them or how they decorated them. So I did some investigating on YouTube and I, I, I don't even remember whose video I watched. Um, but then I just tried to, to decorate a few myself. And so, if you may not be aware of what they are, they can hold a, a business card, a recipe card, a photograph. You can use them for a variety of things. It'd be a great teacher uh, teacher gift, uh, or for a grandmom, anybody that might have a desk or a little area where you want to display an inspirational note, anything like that, you could use these for. And you can decorate them of course, in any color theme uh, that you may like, whatever paper you might have available. And um, I just want to show you a little spin that I've put on it. Someone else may have um, figured this out as well, but what I didn't like is when I was working uh, with putting this together, um, this became very unstable. I had to really glue that down to the clip and um, like this one, I just use ribbon to tie together to keep the clips together. And I really wasn't happy with how that worked. So I was trying to come up with an idea of how I might improve on that, in my mind anyway, a little bit. And so um, I came up with, I think, a, a good solution. Anyway, what you want to do is you start out with a 2-inch binder clip. Now, you can make them smaller, but the 2-inch um, is good for holding a photograph. And so you want to cut uh, patterned paper to um, just under 2 inches. Um, the binder clips I've used, some are exactly 2, and some of them are just a little under, so you'll want to check that out when you pick up your binder clips. And then measure them in length by three and a quarter. And that fits really very nicely around the binder clip. And then what you want to do is, um, I like to ink my edges so that you um, have a nice finished look. I have my glue, glue gun plugged in because that's what I'll use to add uh, any decorating embellishments. And so um, the next thing I like to do is use, um, you could use score tape, any kind of um, tape that's going to give you a, a good stick. And so you just take your piece of paper Mold it around the bottom of your binder clip. You just want to crease that a little bit. You don't want it to be, um, like you don't want to take your bone folder and crease that. Just a nice little rounded edge. But that gives you guidelines of where you want to put your tape. So, you just put your tape in the top, middle, and bottom section. But if you have red tape, I know that's a little more expensive, but you could use that. You just want something that's going to um, really give you a good stick. And then, of course, you want to really press that down. So what I decided to do... I went to the craft store, wandered around a little bit, and I came up with um, the idea of using a pom-pom. 
in between the clips. Uh, the one video that I watched, um, she when she decorated the top, she used these little um, pop-up dots that kind of elevate your decorations off of your paper. They're like a little styrofoam. I'm trying to dig through my stash of embellishments here. I thought I threw them in here. They're just like a little, um, looks like this. They're just little pieces of foam that have tape ad adhesive on both sides that kind of elevates your embellishments. And she stacked those onto the back of her button or whatever she was decorating with so that it protruded through and then she attached her back em embellishment. But what I found is that there was a lot of wiggle room there and it didn't stay stationary and she needed to either tie a ribbon or something underneath there to kind of keep it uh, from wiggling around. And so what I've done is I used the uh, E6000 glue and I glued the two insides of the clip and then I squished the pom-pom in there. I, I got the smallest, well maybe not the smallest, but a very small pom-pom. Uh, I chose the uh, tan color because it's more of a neutral color and no matter how it was decorating I felt that that might work. Although ultimately um, you're not really going to see that pom-pom when your project is finished. And um, it's a very sticky messy job. Uh, the first few that I made I used my fingers um, but the last batch that I put together I used an old pair of tweezers. And so what I did was just strip the glue in there and then I took my tweezer and just inserted the pom-pom and then was able to position that where I wanted it. And then just, I'm leaving that dry so it uh, stays put. So then what I'm going to come in with is my um, decorative paper. I've put my tape on. And then all you do is take your tape off. And then you just carefully slide that under your that little clip, line it up, and then just bend it around up to the back side. Now sometimes it fits in there perfectly, and other times you might have a little bit of extra paper. But if I do that, I just kind of come in with my um, little X-Acto knife and give that a little push, push it under that clip. And then if you need to, you really can trim that paper off. But you're not really going to see that. So again, I come in with my paper that I cut just under two inches by three and a quarter. I already have my pom-poms glued in. Of course I thought about doing a video after I had all my pom-poms in. But it's, it's easy, you can figure that out. And then I'm just gonna slip my paper underneath that clip. best you can. Line it up, bend it around. And press the paper down. Let me do one more for you. And then if you've been collecting embellishments and you've got things in your stash that you can use, you can decorate these all different ways. You can make little tiny um, flowers out of paper like I did here to match whatever paper you're using. You can buy uh, little silk flowers. Sometimes they have a lot of flowers that the different um, seasons you can get them at a really good discounted price.
There's another one. Just easy to wrap that around. And then you just want to press that down as best as you can. So then you're ready to decorate. Uh, now what I've been doing is uh, using my two, two is it two or two, two inch um, scallop punch. And I use it with the coordinating paper. Like this zigzag paper kind of works with this. So then I will punch that out. And then I usually come back in with another piece of paper that will work and my one inch, just my one inch round punch. Now you can do anything you want. You can use buttons, you can use uh, pieces of wood, you might have a wooden disc, wooden buttons. You know, this button of course would be uh, maybe a little too large, but whatever you might have. And then I would go ahead and again ink my edges. Now I was doing a bunch of these for um, Easter placemats, uh, place markers for Easter dinner. And so I did do a lot um, for men. And so I was able to find some stickers with mustaches on them. And so I just took my little coordinating circle disc, used my tape runner, but you can use a little dot of glue. And I put that on there like that. And then I am going to cut out another one inch dot. Because I want to make sure I cover the back of that pom pom as well. So I'm going to need that. And then what I did is I took a mustache sticker and placed it on my disc. Now I wanted to elevate it a little bit to give it a little dimension. So this was a little bit more work than I bargained for. But I'm just going to take that little mustache sticker and then I'm going to take my scissors I just put it on a piece of card matching paper you can put cardstock and then just cut that out Now some of the mustaches were a little easier to cut out than others. But you could get little, I've seen little um, bicycles or soccer balls. You can do a, a host of things if you need to do some for men rather than the ladies. And again, I like to cover up as best as I can all those white edges. And this is what I was talking about before. You just take a little piece of this little foam. And I put that on the back of my mustache. And that's just going to lift that up a little bit. Give it a little more interest. And then I just went ahead and positioned that anywhere I wanted. 
and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to hot glue that to the front of that pom-pom. Now you could put on here World's Best Dad if you had a little sticker or you could have um, put the word brother on there if you had any kind of a little embellishment. I'm trying to think if I have anything which I'm not sure that I do. You could put uh, someone's name in letters here. You could put the word dad in letters, grandpa. Now I'm gonna take my additional one inch disc and then I'm gonna hot glue that to the back side of this. And I'm putting the hot glue right on the pom pom. I just need to hold that on for a few minutes. See, so now this isn't going to move at all. Just have to be careful you don't glue the top of your clip together. But you want it to have a little snug fit so that a photograph's not going to slip around. So I just have some stickers here. I'm just going to put letter stickers on. And you can put them on any way you want. This is an easy So that's one for a male. I have one here that I already started. I made a, a flower to coordinate with the paper that I'm using that I wrapped the clip with. And then I have A flower here somewhere. This I bought on the internet. It's just a mesh flower. And I put a pearl center. Now I don't think that's going to attach to my pom pom very well. So I'm going to get some paper that works with that look. And for this one, I'm just going to cut a one inch disc. And then I'm going to cut a little rose, part of the little rose out for the back. I didn't do that very well. I'm going to do that over. Now I started to adhere some of those little discs because I thought I was going to need to use those, but I went and got the pom-pom, so I'm going to just remove that. And I'm going to go ahead again and ink my one inch punch, punch out that I just cut. And I'm going to put a little hot glue on the back. And I'm going to adhere my flower. And then I'm going to ink my other disc. I should say circle or my one inch cutout. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the back of that pom pom. 
have some wording on there, so I'm going to make sure that's right side up. Just hold that on there a few minutes. And then again on the front. that. And then I have some wording here. I'm not sure. Well, I think some of these might work. So I have these little stickers that I picked up. This one says hope. I think I'm going to use that one. And they have adhesive, already have adhesive on the back. I'm just going to put that there. I think that looks great. And then you can do fun ones as well. So really any 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 design or any coloring um, anything that you might have Like I have these really great little fun stickers. This one says BFF, happy. You can take some lively paper like this and uh, put a little sticker on there. Like this one says crazy. Put that on there. through my stash. Put that little picture, little pink flower on there. And then I will come in here with, uh, again, my, probably my two inch scalloped punch. Because uh, I really like the, con I really like the way that looks. I'm just looking for some paper that will coordinate so I think I'm going to go with this pink I'm not too crazy about the back side so I think I'll use something different for the the disc that I um, might want to put on there. I think I might use this stripe. That's kind of fun. And then it's just a plain pink on the opposite side. So that'll work. I don't want to get that dark pink border in there though. So I'm just going to scoop my one inch punch in there. And now I'm going to ink this in pink. So I already have the uh, base paper inked in pink. So I'm going to keep with that, coordinate that. And then I just need to find something fun for the uh, top. I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to do my back disc to cover. Now you could also put a little embellishment on there as well. You might have a little button or um, you might have a little sticker like this. It's just a little butterfly. 
or you could even put on a little, um, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to put on a little uh, crystal. I think I'm going to use the uh, darker pink. It's easy to pick up a whole sheet of these at your craft store. So I'm just going to put that there. And then come in on the back of my pom-pom, add my glue. You can do a bunch of these. What I did was I put all my pom-poms in, then I cut out all my paper. So um, now I'm at the point where I'm just decorating and you can put them together fairly quickly. And then I'm gonna come in with my tape runner. Just put a little piece of tape on here. Glue down that little desk. Now I need to find something that I think will work on the front. Now I have the, the word crazy on there, but I don't know that I have anything that I would deem crazy. use some things that might have a little bit of a sparkle to them as well. So I think I'm going to get out one of my... Well, maybe I'll use this. Maybe I'll use my sunglasses. I have a pair of pink sunglasses. They'll look cute. So these have little adhesive tabs on the back, so all, all you need to do is just peel that off. I'll put on my little sunglasses. And then again, I'm going to put my hot glue on the pom pom. And then place that where it looks good. I'll just hold it for a few seconds. And there's another one ready to go. You can have a lot of fun with these. And uh, aside from using the hot glue, which really you could use a tacky glue, you could um, have a project uh, with the kids and have the kids decorate these um, as well, which would really be a fun afternoon. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll catch you next time.